Secretary Kerry, you just said again there should be no delay. Is that correct? Well, I mean, there has to be a reasonable period to try to work this out. Obviously, you have got to see whether or not this has any meat to it. And if it does have meat, I think that is important. So, again, following up on Mr. Ford. Well, the Senate question, has already delayed. Because they don't have the votes, Mr. Secretary. That is why they have delayed. You know that. Actually, no, I don't. Well, uh, I do. Well, I am glad you know something. And uh, I, I think this is not a, you know, this should not be a political discussion about whether there are votes or not. I am not being about. political, Mr. Secretary. It is the truth. They don't have the votes. Read any newspaper in this country and you will find that out. As I said to you, I, I don't know that. Should the House delay or should the House move forward? I believe that the Senate has made This is the House of Representatives, well, not I understand. the Senate, sir. Look, do you want to play politics here or do you want to get a policy in place? The policy that can be put in place is to try to get this particular option of getting control of chemical weapons in place. Now, if you want to undermine that, then play the politics. Okay. How about this, to work, Mr. Secretary? Then I am asking me, Mr. you Secretary, to be serious my time, about sir? how we got here. Mr. Chairman, would you please ask the witnesses to limit their answers to the questions that are asked? Mr. Secretary, would you please explain what an incredibly small strike is? It is not Iraq. It is not Iran. It is not a year's war. Uh, what I was doing was trying to point out to people that we are engaged in a strike, which we have again and again. And if you want to take my comments in their entirety, I have said this will be meaningful. It will be serious. The Assad regime will feel it because it will degrade their military capacity. But compared to Iraq, Kosovo, Libya, it is small. It is not any of those things. That doesn't mean that it would be anything less than what I've suggested previously, and the military has suggested that, that Assad will know. We don't do pinpricks. The President has said that, and we've said that. We will degrade, and I believe we will deter, but it is not Iraq, Afghanistan, and compared to them, it is small. Has Assad directly threatened? the United States of America? Chemical weapons directly threaten the United States of America. The instability of the Middle East Mr. Secretary, directly, are we going to strike North Korea? Uh, not at the They have moment, a larger obviously. stockpile than Syria has. I beg your pardon? Do they not have a larger stockpile than Syria? They have one of the largest stockpiles in the world, and we are currently engaged in a very serious effort, which I think you are aware of, working with the Chinese. I went at the President's direction that, I, to I China. I appreciate it. Let me, but you don't General really want Dempsey. answers, do you? No, I'm trying no, I'm to limited give you an on my time, but you are not, sir. I am trying to give you an answer. This is not the Senate. We do not filibuster here. I am trying to give you an answer. General. Has Assad attacked any of our allies? Uh, not to my knowledge. To anybody at this desk, whose side are we on? With respect to? Syria, Mr. Secretary. We are supporting the opposition. Which opposition? We are supporting the moderate opposition of General Idris and the SMC and of President Jarba and the Syrian opposition. And I believe you just referred to the fact that this Congress supported doing things with the Syrian opposition. Is that correct? We are helping the Syrian opposition, and the President has made you that You said clear. this Congress voted to support that. Is that correct? I said Congress uh, has authorized us to do some things okay, to Let me make the opposition. record perfectly clear. I voted no. I had a vote. And I'm I voted happy no. to have the record be made clear, Congressman. Thank you. Yield back. Uh, Ms. Davis.